What's up YouTube? This is Madcock83. <clears throat> Today we're going to be looking at the DNS Tech Pack version 1.2.4 with da -da -da -da, Installer. Uh, this mod's got about, this pack's got about 54 mods if I'm not mistaken. I will try to put a list in the bottom of everything that's in there. Um, but it takes really no time to start it. Let's get into how to install this thing. No, I didn't want to update. I'm going to go ahead and go download it. And just to show you that the link that I'm using is the same one that you're going to be using, there it is right there. To download, save, and let's drop it on the desktop. And it's kind of a big file, so I'll stop the video here, and when it gets done, we'll start it. All right, I'll see here. There she is. All right, before we do anything, we need a clean .minecraft folder. Um, I have a shortcut over here for mine. See, I already have this installed, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in it. So what we're going to do is delete all this. Now, before anybody starts yelling at me about deleting saves and texture packs, take your little save folder and your little texture pack folder, put it in a put it in a backup folder. If anything, just uh, like this has been my backup folder over here, just with a bunch of word letters on it. Just make a little folder, drag everything and drop it in there. That'd probably be the safe thing to do just in case this doesn't work. But I am just going to delete it. You should back it up. That's empty now. The first thing we're going to do if you have a backup, which I do keep a backup of a clean 1.0 Minecraft jar, which is what this one's for, just so you know. When it gets updated, I will update an install video for it. We're going to let it download all the stuff it needs. And then we're going to do a quick backdate, which I'll put a link somewhere up here to my backdate video uh, with my little, my quick little tool that'll do it. And once we get past the Mojang screen, everything will be in there we need. Now we're now at 1.1, 1 .1, so let's uh, let's go ahead and backdate this. this is my Minecraft stuff. There's my EUC. This back <coughs> this backdates everything for me. I'm gonna agree to it. And patch client. Minecraft update patcher. This thing actually updates itself. I got it for back when we went to 1.0 and I needed to go back to 1.8 and it actually has updated a 1.1 version on its own. Alright, now we're at 1.0. We can test that out real quick. By logging in, and if it asks us to update, yep, we're at 1.0. So we can go ahead and close that out. Alright, let's get to installing the mod. I'm in the pack. Open up the DNS tech pack. You want to take this folder and extract it anywhere you want. I'm just going to toss it on the desktop. And there it sits. Open it up. You're going to have three things in here. This is the installer. This is the tech pack. And this is the sharp code. This works for the installer. It has to be in there with the installer. So open up the installer. And another important thing you need to do is make sure you have uh, .NET 3.5 framework or, or this installer won't work. Everybody should be up to that by now. If you need to figure out how to f find out what kind of .NET you're using, go to your control panel, go to uninstall programs, scroll down to Microsoft.NET framework, and it'll give you the version either 4.0 or 3.5. That's usually what everybody's on by now. Uh, click install. You're going to direct this to that folder that's on your desktop right there, the DNS tech pack, and open that zip file. And it'll ask you if you want to back up before installing. You can always hit yes. I'm just going to hit no. <coughs> and it'll take it a it'll take it a, a minute because there's a lot of stuff that's installing. Um, so far, this is definitely one of my favorite packs. It uh, rivals the Technic pack if not better in my opinion but with any tech pack it depends on the mods that are in there and the person who's using them to which ones they like but for for me this one's better 
there's very few there's a f couple of mods that are added for uh, aesthetics purposes or, or like uh, mo creatures in, in here just just for looks it doesn't really go with the whole tech technical theme you may get this I've got it a couple of times it's saying not responding but usually if you just don't close it out and leave it for another 10, 5, 10 seconds, you'll come up with mod installed. Hit OK and simply close it out. And if you go back to your .minecraft folder, you have all this stuff in there. Uh, a few rules for this tech pack uh, with with some of the ID resolvers and stuff that's in, in this to make everything work. You cannot play on old worlds. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry to say. You have to generate new worlds and more than likely, even if you could get it to work on your old world, let's say you were using uh, Industrial Craft on your old world, uh, the block IDs for that, w for your old one, probably will not be the same. Almost 100% sure will not be the same IDs that this pack has given it, so it'll either crash whenever you try to use something in that old world, because what used to be block 125 for a macerator in industrial craft is now maybe block 265 and when you place them Minecraft just says fuck it and closes down definitely 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 regenerate a new world uh, when you when you log in it's gonna take a little bit longer for it to crank up because it's, it's you know updating all these mods uh, when you generate a world it takes a little bit longer and when you hit save and quit it saves chunks for about 10 to 15 seconds it seems like it's freezing up but it's not it's it's just got a lot lot more to do now uh, play with it test it out before you say it doesn't work uh, as always message me and I will try to help in any way I can this is the pack I'm going to be using in my let's play um, I appreciate you watching this is Madcock 83 have a